how to work with the RF24 transceivers and they are doing. First, we're going to make the connections, the RF24 and the Arduino. Second, we're going to download the library and see the code for the IED. Then, we're going to see, we're going to set one transmitter and one receiver. And after that, we're going to set both for transceivers. At last, we're going to test the performance on three different configurations on the RF24s and see the results. The first thing is hook up the cables into the RF24, uh, follow the sketch on the screen, and if you need more information, get it on jumpkit.com. Now, follow the sketch to connect the cables into the Arduino. Remember, the voltage is going to go into the 3.3, not into the 5 volts, okay? We can burn the, the uh, RF24. Okay, now the code. Uh, let's go to jumppinkit.com and you're going to find the code. It's going to be in two parts. One is going to be the receiver and the other one is going to be the transmitter. Let's start working with the transmitter first. Okay, first um, connect your first Arduino and open your ID. Now copy the code, then say um, transmission and pass it into the IED. Next, check that we have the right configuration. First, the microcontroller, Arduino Uno, and then the port. In my case, it's port 3, whatever it's your case. Now load the code into the Arduino, and uh, we're going to open the serial uh, monitor. On the serial monitor, you're going to see numbers that are on incrementing and that means that everything is work right on the transmission part. Now connect the second microcontroller into the computer and open a new IDE and it the, uh, copy and paste the uh, code of the receiver. Now we're going to check for the microprocessor, the new microprocessor, uh, and the port, then in my case is the 12. Now load the code into the microprocessor and get the new serial monitor for this uh, port, for the port 12. Sometimes it's difficult to get uh, to make it works right the IDE because uh, when you change the port in one IDE, it's going to change in the other one. And uh, the trick is very easy. The trick is open one IDE and the next one don't open from the IDE but open uh, double clicking the file of the code and then automatically it's going to open a new one with the new um, port, serial port. Now we have two serial monitors and uh, two serial ports, uh, one in 12 and one in uh, number 3 and you can see exactly the same information in both, same numbers. That means it's working properly. The receiver is going to show where the information the, trans the transmitter is sending. If you reset the transmission, you're going to see also how the information on the receiver is set to. As you can see, both codes, transmission and receiver, it's exactly the same thing at the beginning. Just going to change the very last part. Also be aware that we are sending all the variants in one package. Find more information on the stroke package on Arduino. 
Now we're gonna work with the RF24s as transceivers, but will work as receiver and transmitter at the same time. We gotta add four LEDs and three buttons on each Arduino. Just follow the pin numbers on the screen. Now it's important that you get both Arduinos in exactly the same configuration. Buttons, LEDs, and whatever, it's gonna be just exactly the same, a copy one of the other. Then we're gonna go to uh, jumpingkit.com and we're gonna get the code for transceivers. Copy and paste it into your IDE and load it into the Arduinos. The green LED, the ones connected into the port number 10 on the Arduino, it's gonna turn on and that's uh, confirmed, then uh, everything is working right. Now you can see how the information goes in a loop. Whatever you do in one set is going to reply in the other. Finally, I want to test the transmission distance. And for this, I'm going to use three different configurations on the RF24. The regular one with the integrated antenna. The second one, we got to add a 22 microspheres a capacitor. Then some videos say that that help, but let, let's try it. And the very last one is going to be with the external antenna. Uh, Okay. Now we will see how much The first test is about a hundred foot or thirty meters. Now let's test the second one with the capacitor. It really didn't have any change. Uh, still exactly the same, about 100 feet or 30 meters. Now let's try the external antenna. The external antenna works like four times better than the regular uh, antenna. Uh, this one goes up to 400 foot or 120 meters max. This is incredible. This is better. The transmitter with the capacitor doesn't work better than the regular transmitter. But the transmitter with the antenna works like four times better than the regular or the other transmitter. So it's much better. Thank you for watching.